Indian beauty ad pulled from TV due to showing lesbian couple. An advertisement for Fem Creme Bleach, a popular skin whitening product in India, was recently removed from social media platforms after it sparked controversy over a display of um, a lesbian couple engaging in a Hindu ritual. The advertisement showed a same-sex couple celebrating um, Charwa uh, Chasus. Chath, a festival for married Hindu women in which they fast to ensure the safety and long lives of their husbands. The ad was taken down after uh, Narutam Mishra, the home minister of Madhya, Madhya Pradesh, India, threatened to take legal action against the manufacturing company if the ad was not removed. Mishra criticized the ad, fearing that, it, uh, that allowing it could lead to more portrayals of objectionable content such as a commercial showing, quote, two men getting married. On October 25th, Dabur India apologized via Twitter and withdrew the commercial, stating, we unconditionally apologize for unintentionally hurting people's sentiments. Why would they apologize for this? Like, are they saying, that, so they're admitting that this is, uh, there's something wrong with the lesbian couple? Yeah. Is that what they're saying? Okay. So, is this the ad? Yes. Okay, go. Can I play? Okay, I'm going to. Yeah, it'll take um, you to Twitter if you click on it. Okay. You talk while I figure this out. <laughs> um, I thought this was interesting. Well, there was, there's so many different angles to it. Okay. First of all, this guy just like clutching his pearls over seeing two women do this tradition this traditional ceremony that's supposed to be for women um and second of all there was a lot of people from the lgbtq community that heavily criticized this ad to begin with they're like actually we don't like this ad either <laughs> so what um well because well here you you can see the ad and it's two women and they're like getting ready and in the beginning you see the girl painting this cream on the face of the other girl and this cream is skin bleaching cream oh and oh, yeah. it's supposed to make her lighter and not make her look dark and literally bleach the skin to remove pigmentation from it and then as the ad goes oh, so on mm -hmm. Later, you Go see on. this woman come in and she gives them, them some gifts and talks to them. And then when the moon comes out, that's when the fast ends. And they have like these little sibs with a candle in them. I'm not exactly sure what that represents. But basically, here under the moon, it's where it's revealed that these two women aren't just any women getting ready for the ceremony. They're a couple. And they drink the tea together. And then there's kind of like a joke where one of them... Um, makes an eye movement supposed to be like oh you're supposed to kneel to my feet now because that's like part of it and they're like no and then they just drink it together um but a lot of people um, were like oh haha ha, like love is love but only if your skin is light what kind of a bs message is this <laughs> like wait how how's it i don't i i, I can I just i don't get it why love is love okay so I mean, it's okay if you want. Hmm. Because it's. I have a problem. You yeah, go on. Well, it's a it's a really colorist attitude, meaning like it's reflective of a beauty standard that says that dark skin is ugly and undesirable. And but there do was they say specific. That? That's... Yeah, go on. No, but like you wouldn't buy this product if you believed otherwise. Why would you buy I mean, if you a, get a beauty product to make your skin lighter if you thought that how it is originally okay. was undesirable? Okay. Here's my hot take, and this might get me canceled. Okay. Oh Jesus! I think I'm it's not ready for this. Okay, it's not that bad. <laughs> Chill. It's not that bad. I'm I'm kidding. I'm exaggerating of how bad it is. Okay. I think that the ads that I have a problem with when it comes to colorism is the ones that make it seem like the darker skin people are less attractive you know what i mean like the ones in thailand with somebody with the black skin and all of a sudden they wash the you know they put them in a washing machine and they come out like what white skin and beautiful and they see like you know what i mean that is those are the ads that i have a problem with right 
I don't think I have a problem with somebody wanting to be their, have their skin lighter, just in the same way that I don't have a problem with somebody wanting their skin darker, right? Like, for example, I don't think if somebody gets a tan, they are inherently saying that people with lighter skin are ugly. Do you know what I mean? And I think, like, if somebody wants to have their skin lighter, I don't think that, that by itself is suggesting that people with darker skin are uglier. The ads that are problematic are the ones that are specific, directly suggesting that. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you used to be ugly because you were darker, and now you're not ugly because you're lighter, right? But I think, like, you should be able to sell products that makes your skin lighter and sell products that makes your skin darker, and, and, and you can pick what you prefer. Like, you were like, you we should be able to, like, you know what? I want to get a tan. I want to get, like, a those spray tans right i think can you not like advertise a product that makes your skin lighter because that would be colorism i don't i think it's about the way it's done right you know the ads that i'm talking about them you know that actually suggest that you know you 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 had a problem because you used to be darker skin and now you you don't that that's a that's those are the those are bad but this i don't think this is bad i think like i mean how are you supposed to market a product that makes your skin lighter then like what are you supposed to do? Well, I don't understand. Well, I'm 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 just generally missing? opposed to skin lightening products. Period. Why? So, I think it's um like reflective of an attitude that's been passed down over hundreds of centuries, which maybe not hundreds of centuries, but many centuries. It's really harmful. Um in it they're also really not good for you um people hurt themselves with these products and also um i don't the result is when you see the results of some skin bleachings it's just so bad and it makes me sad that someone would do something so harmful to themselves over this attitude think, that's really prevalent in many different countries I think the attitude, I think if for many people, you're right. The problem is that attitude and it is colorism and it is lack of self-confidence and it's like beauty standards that are unreasonable and makes no sense. But I think like you have to, but I think for some people, it, it might not be that, right? For some people, they might genuinely think like they would look a little bit better two two shades darker or two shades lighter. Like, you know what I mean? Like it, it's for some people, it's not about this whole culture of colorism, this history, their societal expectations. They just think like a different color looks better on them. Right. I mean, you don't think like people like, do you think if somebody tells me that I mean, you look better when you get a tan, right? Like when you, like people, some people tell me that I'm too white and I need to go get some sun and I look better <laughs> when, a little bit. When I get a little bit, and I get so many comments like that. I, so many people tell me that when I get just a little bit darker, I look a lot better. I get that comment, right? And the reason why we don't have an issue with that just is because there's no history of colorism behind that. That is genuinely just about aesthetics, genuinely just about what makes what you think looks better on you, right? But when it comes to getting a little bit lighter, that comes at the back of a history of bigotry, colorism, cultural expectations. And that's why we have a problem with that. And it's justifiably so. But we also have to acknowledge that it is possible, you know, hypothetically, it is possible for some people to have a relationship with lighter skin without that baggage of that bigotry and colorism in a way that some people have that with getting a darker skin. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I think that the, the problem that we need to address it's not the tools with which you use to make yourself look the way you want. The thing that we need to address is that underlying belief and that co colorism or that you know, culture. That's what needs to be addressed. Well, you know the mean? tools also need to be addressed because they can be very harmful, including tools yep. to get darker. You can have extremely increased risks of skin cancers. Like Yeah, but, it, but listen to what you're saying. It can be harmful, which suggests that it also can be not harmful. Like, obviously, if this is a harmful product, that's a different topic. And that's another thing that needs to be addressed. But I'm just saying inherently, you wanting to be darker or lighter inherently itself is not a bad thing is that is either the other health wise is a problem, or either 
increasing that cultural baggage of all that e ugly history is a problem. But inherent, if we didn't have those things, inherently, if you said like, I like it when I look darker a little bit, like, or lighter a little bit, that by itself should, is not the problem. Anyways, that, that's what I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I get what I, you're anyway, saying. Guys, I could, yeah. Okay, I good. think I'm maybe sensitive to this because I know it's such a legitimate and like deep source of like real self-hate to like millions of people, you know? Um, right. And it has major implications in the real world. So I don't like to see products that like take advantage and make money off of that kind of thing. Um, mm -hmm. You're saying that, get, yeah, you're, yeah, I, I see your point. You're saying like, even if this could be done in a not harmful way, the fa these products are taking advantage. Like they, they would have to take advantage of, um, of a desire of, you know, colors up and the fact that there's a major market for this, right? Yeah, I agree. I agree. But I think the way that, and again, I, maybe you're, maybe that's why this backlash by the LGBT community, maybe even though I could see how this can be enjoyed in a healthy way, whether you want to be darker or lighter, maybe these backlashes are a good thing because it's, because there's a bigger evil that is being tackled here. And it's good that people are bringing attention to it, even though, you know, maybe what I'm concerned about is such a minor thing compared to the evil that we're dealing with, that mm -hmm. it's not, what I'm saying is not even relevant. Yeah, actually, yeah, I, that makes sense, that makes sense. Anyways. Yeah. Um, it, it was interesting being, be wrong. oh, the, the LGBT activists in India were saying that for them, like they, they don't appreciate like having LGBT couples celebrated or normalized in this way when they were talking about how particularly um, people from the Dalit LGBT community have been such a huge force wow. in propelling the movement in India. And for those who don't know, um, Dalit refers to um, a, well, the caste system in India, which um, ranks people according to the certain strata of society that they were born into. But Dalits are so low that they're outside of the caste system. And traditionally, um, historically, they've had much darker skin um, than mm. upper caste individuals. Um, so to them, it felt like a particular slap in the face, given that history. I think I think I figured it out. I think the only responsible way for you to ever market a product that is makes you lighter is for you to also have a product that makes you darker. And you have to advertise them side by side. Like you can't, you you can't. Like I think if you want to be responsible with it, you could be like, look, we have two, we have, we have products that makes you lighter, and also we have products that makes you beautifully darker. You know, I mean, something like that. You yeah. Know what I mean? Like, oh, look at. So I think that would be the responsible way um, to promote any ad. I don't. Know. <laughs> I th I think I like that idea. I think I agree with you. <laughs> I think yeah. that might be the the right way to do it if you had yeah. to do it. <laughs> Um, what if it just shows like, right. one person like going back and forth? Like, <laughs> no, that <but> would that, <laughs> Look at that how might be like, Look at those. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, striking. overuse, overuse our products as much as you want. Keep, keep checking us <laughs> so that we make more money. Like, keep trying different shades. Yes. Anyways, Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Ababi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.